We love Chipotle. The main reason is they use non-GMO food and meat that's been raised without antibiotics or synthetic hormones. They use all fresh ingredients that have no artificial flavors or fillers. That's the way we like to eat. We've actually been eating there quite a lot lately, but when we make it at the house, Mike thinks it tastes even better. The burritos, so I wanted yeah. to share that with you today. If you guys don't know me, I like to use organic food as much as possible. I know that makes us weird, but we're okay with that. Weirdos is what we are. So here's how we make Chipotle burritos, but even better. We start out with a small flour tortilla. Now we like to use the small flour tortillas, but if you prefer, you can use the larger ones. And of course we like to heat them up. Much better that way. And add rice. I use a cheap, simple rice cooker from Walmart I got for like 15 bucks. You put in two cups of water, one cup of rice, and 30 minutes later, it comes out perfect every single time. Now these are black beans. Now I cook my black beans in a pressure cooker because I don't have time to be looking at beans cooking on the stove all day long. Fast and easy. That's how I like it. All right. Have our nice grilled chicken cut up here. Now, I happen to have organic yogurt, Stonyfield Farm Plain. I got to tell you, it's better, you use the yogurt instead. Yeah, use the yogurt instead of sour cream. Um, it doesn't taste all, it doesn't taste really as good as sour cream, but if you get used to it, you won't even miss it. We love it. Now, this guacamole is super simple. It's just mashed up avocados with lime juice on it. Lime juice keeps it from going brown and tastes delicious. Put a whole bunch of that on there. Cilantro. We love fresh cilantro. And it cleans your blood. It's yeah, very, very cilantro good is really good for you. It uh, supposedly removes all the toxins and helps get that out of your blood. So eat a lot of it. Green onions. Tomatoes. Some romaine lettuce. Don't forget the salt. Now. And the pepper. <laughs> the secret ingredient to this, y'all, is I didn't know until I went to Chipotle restaurant that Tabasco makes Chipotle sauce. This is absolutely delicious. So I put a lot of this on there. You can use whatever kind of hot sauce you like, but this really makes it taste delicious. By the way, I not only just use chicken on these. You can switch it up. I use um, steak. I also use um, fish and uh, ground beef. Now, so fish sounds like it probably wouldn't be good, but have you ever gone to Hooters and had fish tacos? I mean, it's on a lot of menus at a lot of different restaurants, so it's really, really good. Delicious, y'all. Got we, to try the fish. And when we do the fish, we actually just grill it on the um, grill. We don't fry it or bake it or anything. It's on the grill, so it's really good. And then I also sometimes add some fresh lime juice to this. And all those flavors are going to come together. And, yeah, we should have used a bigger wrapper, I guess. <laughs> and just wrap this up. Don't forget right. your napkin because you're going to need yeah, it. Yeah, it's kind of coming out everywhere. All right. All right, now for the taste test. Mmm. So delicious, y'all. I wish you could taste it. I do not like to slave over a hot kitchen all day long. So whenever I make this, I make lots of extra toppings and everything. That way you can keep it in the refrigerator and when Mike gets hungry later, which he does a lot, he can help himself. I actually have a ton of super simple, delicious recipes that I can share with you guys. But I wanna know if you would like me to do that for you. If you would, please give me a thumbs up so I'll know 
And thanks so much for watching. Mm-hmm. Big as all. <laughs>